There's an epidemic of lounge chairs everywhere, which doesn't make sense. And the crazy part about this is patients are sick, but because we find it convenient not to put them in stretchers because we run out of them because patients are already held up in ED waiting for a bed, we think it's convenient to put lounge chairs so we could sneak in more patients to be seen. Sneak in more patients to be seen doesn't ensure safety. There are no monitors on these lounge chairs. So what do you do when a patient who is a poor historian says she has a cough for several weeks, doesn't feel well, right? She denies smoking. She's like 42, not been a puzzle. No fevers, this is this cough. Right? The cough could be from GERD, could be from post-nasal drip. And then you later on the look in the records, she's had a previous recurrent, like previous bilateral pneumonia. Previous bilateral pneumonia. Hmm. You wonder why she had it. You do an x-ray because you're like, hey, she's having chest pain, but is it chest pain from cough, from pericarditis, from PE? As long as you're clear on the exam, and chest x-ray is not sexy. It almost looks like PCP if you've been long enough in the game to know what that looks like. But it also could be CHF. But it's a little bit more hazy on one side than the other. Pro B and P over 32,000. Not normal. RV strain, LV strain. EKG shows some sinus, intermittent sinus tack. And the weird thing is the white count's less than three. Low, emphasis count, low. Hmm. Can I use something to screen for a disease that would make a young woman who's relatively healthy, no history of cancer or PE, a chronic lung disease like cystic fibrosis or sarcoidosis or asthma or emphysema, why would that person get recurrent pneumonias? Immunosuppression? HIV? And if she does have HIV, HIV could be with non-viral like viral, uh, loads undetectable or with CD4 counts above 200. HIV without AIDS. So guess what? We did an absolute lymphocyte count. It was less than 200. Or less than 1,000 was the absolute count. Making HIV with AIDS possible and highly likely. Heterosexual lady. Doesn't do IV drug use. Not a sex worker. So the cool thing about ER is... There are interesting things to be learned and taught. My resident taught this and learned this lesson. Cool stuff in the ER is usually it's bad for the patient. Boring in the ED is great for the patient, sucks for the ER doctor. Start using the absolute lymphocyte count. Matt Scrow taught me, alumni resident. It's an MD Cal, somebody thinks they remember. But hey, something to use very well. To screen at least for patients to think, hey, does she have heart failure, or does she have pneumonia, atypical pneumonia, or both? Prelim diagnosis, HIV cardiomyopathy. And it's a thing. Now to be proven with an echo. Hope she does better. The one thing that suggested cardiomyopathy and heart failure, bilar ankle swelling, which was new. And shown as a breath, worse than exertion. Crazy, right? The stuff I learned and the stuff I diagnosed on lounge chairs.